All right, you guys, it's time for another treat video. And today we're making something that you guys have been begging us to try for a long time. We're gonna make pizza for dogs. A full-size pizza for dogs. What do you think? <laughs> Let's get to it. And also before I forget, today is February 26th, the day I'm actually filming this, and today is Oakley's Gotcha Day. Happy Gotcha Day, honey. We have now had Oakley for five whole years. We're gone to the snow dogs. So yes, today we are actually making pizza for dogs. And I believe with everything we're using, it's actually gonna be gluten-free as well. So there you have that. <laughs> As always, you guys, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links down in the video description below and up in the cards above. And if you have suggestions for our next one, leave them down below in the comments. So the first thing we're going to do is make the crust for the pizza. We are going to need one cup of coconut flour, one teaspoon of parsley, one teaspoon of basil, and one teaspoon of oregano. Those are all the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna kind of mix them together, make sure they're mixed together well. You wanna help? This is like, I will eat the flour. So you're gonna mix it together and then you're gonna kind of build a well in the middle and then we're gonna take and we're gonna pour in our egg. So one egg, farm fresh egg, by the way. Believe it or not, the shell was green. And then we're slowly gonna mix in one cup of chicken broth. Oh, you're such a good helper. Okay, I gotta mix this together. Okay, ready? Ready? You can't eat the hot dogs, you gotta wait. You can't eat those, you gotta wait. <laughs> oh no, we're spilling it on the table. Once you have it kind of mixed together, you're gonna have to knead it with your hands. If it's a little too sticky, add a little more flour. If it's a little too dry, add a little more water. While you're getting your dough ready, make sure to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So you want your pizza dough to stick together just enough. Like, see when I push on it, how it's kind of springy and comes back? We're not actually going to roll this out. We're going to go ahead and press this into our pizza pan. So it doesn't need to be super dough-like, but it needs to stick together. Hopefully you understand that. We're going to spray our pizza pan so it doesn't stick. Psst, psst. Memphis doesn't like spray bottles. Can I spray this? See, so it's a little crumbly, but that's okay. Just take it and start smushing it down in your pan. All right, now we've got it all flattened out on our pan. Now for the toppings. Now pizza normally has tomato sauce, but I thought we'd do something a little bit different because some dogs don't do too great with tomatoes. Um, my dogs have all had them before, but I thought it'd be fun to try something different. So we're actually gonna use pureed beets. And what I actually did is I took two raw beets and I boiled them for 45 minutes and then I mashed them just like you would um, mashed potatoes. So that's what we're gonna use for our pizza sauce. So it'll be kind of red at the same time it's kind of stop eating the pizza crust. <laughs> kind of red looking, a little purple. Look, stop eating the pizza crust. You have to wait. You are so impatient. You cannot steal all the ingredients. Wanna try it? I knew you would want to try it. How about you? Wanna try it? It's purpley messy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come here, Shelby. Wanna try it? Here, wait. Oh, maybe. Would you? <laughs> here. Oh, she ate it! After Memphis tried to eat it out of her mouth. So. There's our beet puree on top of our pizza crust. I used about I used about one and a half beets. If you don't have beets, you don't have to put beets on it at all. You can just put your other toppings on it. Next, we're going for the cheese. Gee, who likes cheese? Shelby's favorite thing is cheese. You like everything. <laughs> Oakley says, I'll have some cheese. You want some cheese? Oh, that's good stuff. And of course, Memphis wants cheese. Oops, I dropped it. So I'm using 2% low-fat mozzarella cheese. You don't need a ton of it, but what's a pizza without cheese? So 
So now that we have our cheese on, what else should we add? How about turkey hot dogs? I didn't want to use turkey pepperoni because they have a lot of sodium in them. So I found these Oscar Mayer Selects turkey hot dogs. Stop eating the pizza crust. And uh, we're gonna put some of these on here. Memphis is like, I, I can help guys, for real. I can help. So we'll just, just like any pizza, like you're making pizza for yourself, arrange them all out on there. Ooh, I like a turkey hot dog. Would you like a turkey hot dog? Gee, I know you want one. <laughs> So what else should we put on our dog pizza? How about some green peppers? I know you like green peppers. And I know you like green peppers. I'm gonna bet Shelby won't eat the green pepper. Nope. No, I don't have any dip for you either, honey. Sorry. So we're just gonna throw a couple of these on here. My dogs have all had green peppers before and they do pretty good with them. So we're just gonna add a couple of these on here for some color and some goodness. You can put whatever toppings you want on your dog pizza. Just make sure that you check to make sure that the ingredients that you are using are safe for your dog. If you don't know, call your vet. Just call them up and ask them. Most vets will be more than happy to answer that question for you. And now, everybody's favorite pizza topping. We're gonna put some anchovies on this pizza. I don't think the dogs have ever had an anchovy. So fishy. Let's see what Shelby thinks of an anchovy. Oh, you'll eat an anchovy, huh? Ugly, I have one up here. Ugly. <laughs> oh, Shelby's like, I would eat another one of those. Oh, you would like anchovies? You would, you would like anchovies? Memphis is like, oh, I'll eat an anchovy here. You can have two since you didn't eat a green pepper. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what anchovies are, they're fish. And you know, Huskies love fish, and anchovies on pizza is just fun. And that's it. That's what we're putting on our DIY doggy pizza today. We are going to put this in the oven for about a half an hour. I'm really hoping that my crust stays the way it's supposed to. I almost think mine was a little too dry. So just make sure that your crust has a good stickiness to it. Hopefully this will turn out okay. <laughs> first time doing it. You guys are watching me do it for the first time, so hopefully it'll turn out all right. So we're gonna pop it in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 and then we will uh, let it cool off so the dogs can try it. Don't lick the lid for the anchovies. Okay, before I forget, only do this for about 20 minutes. This is what it turned out like after 20 minutes. So 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes. I'll note that in the video as well. All right, Shelby gets to be first. Can you speak? Good job. What I did? Hold on. Ready? Let's have some pizza for the dogs. Oh, apparently she likes it. And she's making a mess with it. <laughs> Is it good? I probably should have thought about that before I let you eat beets on my carpet. You're supposed to keep it on the plate, honey. That's kind of how this works. Is it good? I think she thinks it's good. She's not being too picky. She's actually eating all of it. It smells amazing, so... I mean, it's gotta taste good. I think it's a win. All right, Oakley next. All right, so next is Miss Oakley, and Miss Oakley inhales her food, so I'm gonna put hers in her slow feed bowl. I broke it all up for her, so she can eat it like she does the rest of her food out of the slow feed bowl. <laughs> Sometimes that's just easier for her. We don't want her to bloat. What do you think? Is it delicious? It's pizza by the cut up pieces and not by the slice for you though. <laughs> She's like, oh, good stuff. See how she does, see how she chews like that? If I would have given her the whole piece, she literally would have just inhaled it. So she gets hers and a little piece like this. I know Memphis is bad in it, at inhaling them too, but Memphis chews a little sometimes. <laughs> is that a win? Oakley's like, this is amazing. This is great. I think Oakley says it's a win. All right, it's Miss Memphis's turn. <laughs> Sit, ah, ah, ah. Speak, speak. 
That was, that was pretty good. Memphis, look. Look. Good girl. Good job. Ready? Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. That's it. Gotta have patience. I know. Patience. She's like, oh, but it's so good. That's what I thought she was going to do with it. Look at the giant mess you just made. <laughs> oh, Memphis. You just made a huge mess. Well, on the up note, I think Memphis likes it as well. <laughs> uh, I think it was a win from all three girls. You're so funny. All right, you guys, so there you have it. DIY pizza for dogs. I do have plans for another one of these where I make like a mini pizza dog treat instead of a full pizza. So eventually I'll probably do that one as well. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something you would like to see us make. As I said, don't forget when you make your crust, make it a little bit wetter than I did. You kind of want it to be a little bit sticky when you push it down in the pan. Mine was a little bit crumbly, but it still worked out pretty good. And they loved it. Memphis is already in there looking for more. All right, you guys, as always, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be a link up in the cards above and down in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to hit that share button. Share this video. Help us continue to grow the audience. Your shares, your likes, your comments, they help us out more than you can imagine. All right, you guys, we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Happy gotcha day, Oakley. Love you. Hey, Oakley. I love you. She's like, I love pizza. Can I have more pizza? <laughs> okay. M maybe later. One more piece later. Got to the snow. 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 Got